all please rise. Come on. Oh. Oh. The Philippine National Police, Police General Oscar D. Albayalde will now inspect the troops. Please be seated. The Philippine National Police, National Capital Region Police Office, which used to be known as the Philippine Constabulary Metropolitan Command or PC Metropol, the Metropolitan Police Force, came into existence by virtue of Presidential Decree No. 421, which integrated all police, jail, and fire departments within Metro Manila under the designated Commanding General of the Metropol as the current head of the U. The line, ladies and gentlemen, is the Chief of Philippine National Police, Police General Oscar D. Albayalde. He is accompanied by Police Major General Guillermo Lorenzo T. Eliasar, Regional Director, NCRPO, and the Troop Commander, Police Colonel Rex Arvin Malimban. After the successful People's Power Revolution, known as North and South Capcom, However, pursuant to NAPOCOM Resolution No. 93-012, the two regional offices was deactivated and subsequently, the PNP Capital Command was activated. In June 1996, the PNP NCRC was renamed PNP National Capital Regional Police Office or XRPO, pursuant to NAPOCOM Resolution 96-058. Presently, the PNP NCRPO is the primary unit of the Philippine National Police in the Peace and Order and Public Safety Campaign in Metro Manila. Please remain standing for the Philippine National Anthem to be followed by the invocation to be delivered by Police Lieutenant Colonel Ronilo A. Datu, Regional Chaplain NCRPO, and Police Captain Reverend Father Ray Ibanez, Southern Police District Chaplain.
Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, let us pray. All-powerful and ever-living God, wonderful beyond human words, is your gift for all of us. The gift of life, the gift of strength, the gift of family and profession. You are the author of all that is good. You fill the earth with your wonderful blessings and make it bear fruit in abundance that all of us may share in your kindness. You bless human toil with success and make it yield a hundredfold that all may enjoy the benefits of it. Every year you offer us occasions of grace, occasions of notable events in our lives, an occasion that reminds us of your unceasing love. With so much gratitude in our hearts, we offer to you, Almighty God, our praise and thanksgiving as we celebrate the 180th police service anniversary with the enthusiasm and commitment in transforming the nation for a strong, democratic, and progressive republic. Full of confidence, we offer to you this significant gathering Direct our thoughts and actions to find favor in you, so that our mandate as law enforcers may continue to bring progress and peace to the people entrusted to our care. As we hold dear the dignity of service, honor, and justice. In the company of our beloved Chief of the Philippine National Police, Police General Oscar David Albayalde. We in the police force here in the National Capital Region Police Office, headed by our Regional Director, Police Major General Guillermo Lorenzo T. Ildesar, will constantly glorify the wonders of your power. Bless our celebration, bless your people, with you who live and reign, now and forever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please be seated. Police General Oscar David Albayanzo, to our energetic regional director, Police Major General Guillermo Lorenzo Tolentino, our Deputy Regional Director for Operations, Police Brigadier General Alvin Nieves, our Regional Chief Directoral Staff, Lee Lagan, to the officers and members of the Officers Ladies Club, led by the President, Ma'am Rosalie Elazar. To other distinguished guests who spared their times, time to join us in this celebration, may I acknowledge them one by one. Director Maria Lourdes Agustin, Represented by Ms. Gemma Dancil of the Regional DILGNCR. <laughs> Director Rufino Cruz Mendoza of the National Intelligence Coordinating Agency. Attorney Romeo E. David, the Acting Regional Director of the Napalcom NCR. <laughs> Congressman Romolo Kit Peña of the 1st District of Makati. Congressman Rosana Rufino B. Biasol, the Long District Representative of uh, Montenegro City. <laughs> Con 
Congressman Jesus Bong Suntay of the 4th District of Quezon City. May I also acknowledge our very supportive mayors in Metro Manila. Mayor Lynn Edgardo S. Cayetano of Tagui. Mayor Jaime R. Fred Fresnide of Montilupa. We also have here our past commanders of NCRPO. Police uh, Lieutenant General Reynaldo Velasco, sir. Police Lieutenant General Leopoldo Batavil, sir. We also have some some guests from the Joint Task Force NCR, Police Brigadier General Alex Luna. of uh, NCRPO Brigadier General Rolando Anduyan of uh, National Police District and uh, Command Group to Brigadier General Nolasco Batan of the Eastern Police District and Command Group Police Brigadier General Eliseo Cruz of the Southern Police District Police Brigadier General Vicente Danao of the Manila Police District and Police Brigadier General Vicente Escobar of the Quezon City Police District. <laughs> to the other directorial staff, Chief of Police, Station Commanders, other officers, police, non-commissioned officers, non-uniform personnel, friends from the media, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. The police service anniversary is celebrated yearly in commemoration of the founding anniversary of the forerunner organization of today's Philippine National Police. The Philippine Constabulary was established in August 8, 1901 with the motto, Always Outnumbered, but Never Outpour. The Integrated National Police, which was constituted on August 8, 1975 by Presidential Decree 765, the two became the Philippine National Police under Republic Act 6975 in 1991. Through the years and generations, the police service continuously sorts and adheres to its mission to enforce the law without fear and favor, prevent and control crimes, and maintain peace and order to ensure public safety. And in all those years, we celebrate police service anniversaries to honor all those who made distinguished sacrifices to realize this noble mission. Today, we are truly blessed to celebrate the 118th Police Service Anniversary to mark another milestone of strong commitment to service, honor, and justice towards a more secure and peaceful Philippines. Let us all be proud of being part of this beloved organization, the Philippine 
National Police, which is indeed an organization with a noble cause. This celebration does not only recognize our good deeds, it also renews and reminds us of our commitment to the organization and to the public. With this year's anniversary theme, we have to sign with this mission, Allies of Sampayanak Filipino. We proudly, proudly emphasize the reformations instituted within the organization to regain the trust and confidence of the people. We are challenged to do more in the name of service. We must strive harder to sustain or even surpass our gains for the benefit of the people we serve. On that note, I would like to welcome you all in today's anniversary celebration of the 118th year of the police service in the National Capital Region Police Office as the best regional best police regional office. Buhay ang PNP, mabuhay ang NCRPO, mabuhay tayong lahat. Thank you very much, sir, for that heartwarming welcome. This year, the 118th Police Service Anniversary is anchored with the theme, Pinaghusay na Servisyo, Alay sa Sambayanang Pilipino. The celebration is highlighted by the presentation of medals and achievement awards to distinguished personnel and units of the National Capital Region Police Office as a fitting reward to the outstanding service. Lack of appreciation recognition for police commissioned officers. Best Senior Police Commissioned Officer for Administration is presented to Police Colonel Moises Onates Villaseran Jr. from Eastern Police District. Commissioned Officer for Operation is presented to Police Colonel Arthur Velasco Bisnar from Quezon City Police District. <laughs> Best Junior Police Commissioned Officer for Administration is presented to Police Lieutenant Colonel Samuel Paupao Pabonita from Eastern Police District. Best Junior Police Commission Officer for Operation is presented to Police Major Sandy Del Pinado Caparosa from Quezon City Police District. Non-commissioned officers. Best senior police non-commissioned officer for administration is presented to Police Chief Master Sergeant Edmundo Tatoy Aganan Jr. from Quezon City Police District. Best senior police non-commissioned officer for operation is presented to. Police Executive Master Sergeant Jose Ami Irak Hierro from Quezon City Police District. Best Junior Police Non-Commissioned Officer for Administration is presented to Police Staff Sergeant Ronani Baliay Santos from Quezon City Police District. Best Junior Police Non-Commissioned Officer for Operation is presented to Police Corporal Alvin Balisalisa Tarek Tekan from Quezon City Police District. For non-uniformed personnel, 
Best Non-Uniform Personnel for Supervisory Category is presented to NUP Aida Dimahiwak Baudin from Southern Police District. Best Non-Uniform Personnel for Non-Supervisory Category is presented to NUP Anacorito Badillo Castor from the Regional Headquarters. <laughs> we will now proceed to the unit awardees who will receive awards of recognition and NCRPO unit streamers. Best Police District is presented to Gotham City Police District. The award will be received by Police Brigadier General Rosemito Diaz-Sibel, Jr. Presented to the City Police Station. The award will be received by Police Colonel Noel Ad Flores. Police Station is presented to Santa Ana Cruz Police Station, Police Station 3, Manila Police District. <laughs> the award will be received by Police Lieutenant Colonel Julius Caesar M. Domingo. District Mobile Force Medallion is presented in the Quezon City Police District Mobile Force Medallion. The award will be received by Police Lieutenant Colonel Rodrigo L. Balti Jr. Women and Children's Protection Desk. District level is presented in the Southern Police District. The award will be received by Police Brigadier General Eliseo de la Cruz Cruz. Police Station or Municipal Police Station level is presented to the San Juan City Police Station of Eastern Police District. The award will be received by Police Colonel Ariel D. Fulo. Children's Protection Desk, number station level, 
is presented to the Pandagan Police Station, Police Station 10, Manila Police District. The award will be received by Police Lieutenant Colonel Julius C. Anunuevo. Best Human Rights Affairs Office in District Level is presented to the Northern Police District. The award will be received by Police Brigadier General Orlando P. Antuya. Best Human Rights Affairs Office on City Police Station or Municipal Police Station level is presented to Mandaluyong City Police Station of Eastern Police District. The award will be received by Police Colonel Moises Ovillasaran, Jr. Human Rights Affairs Office, numbered station level, is presented to the Jose Abad Santos Police Station, Police Station 7 of Manila Police District. The award will be received by Police Lieutenant Colonel Jean Morales Picol. is awarded to the Gavin City Police District. The award will be received by Facilito Diaz Quibel Jr. For City Police Station, level is awarded to the Valenzuela City Police Station of the Northern Police District. The award will be received by Police Colonel Carlito M. Gases. No, no, no. A numbered station level with the highest accomplishment in Project Double Barrel is awarded to the Nova Liches Police Station, Police Station 4 of Quezon City Police District. The award will be received by Police Lieutenant Colonel Jose I. Sejas. Best Regional Support Unit is presented to the Regional Health Service. The award will be received by Police Colonel Luis Jose M. Bautista. Recognition for the district with the highest index crime solution is presented to Police Brigadier General Eliseo de la Cruz Cruz. Recognition for the unit with highest percentage of arrested or neutralized top most wanted persons district level is presented to the Northern Police District. The award will be received by Police Brigadier General Rolando P. Anduya.
for the city police station or municipal police station level is awarded to the Valenzuela Police Station, Northern Police District. The award will be received by Police Colonel Carlito F. Gases. For numbered station level, it is awarded to Jose Abad Police Station, Police Station 7, Manila Police District. The award will be received by Police Lieutenant Colonel Jean M. Liquid. Recognition for the unit with the most number of firearms confiscated or recovered for district level is presented to the Manila Police District. The award will be received by Police Brigadier General Vicente D. Danal, Jr. For City Police Station and Municipal Police Station level in Police District, the award will be received by Police Colonel Noel R. Flores. For numbered station, Sabago Police Station, Manila Police Station, the award will be received by Police Lieutenant Colonel Reynaldo A. Magdaluyo. For the unit with higher, the award will be received by Police Brigadier General Rosalito T. Esquivel Jr. For the city police station and municipal police station level, it is presented to the Pasig City Police District, State Eastern Police District. The award will be received by Police Lieutenant Colonel Bernilio B. Villoria. For numbered station level, it is presented to the Sun. The award will be received by Police Lieutenant Colonel Julius Cesar M. Domingo. For the unit with highest percentage of clear barangays for district level, it is presented to the Eastern Police District. The award will be received by Police Brigadier General Nolasco K. Batay. For the city police station and municipal police station level, it is presented to the Valenzuela City Police Station, Northern Police District. The award will be received Colonel Carlito M. Gases. For numbered station level, it is presented to the Eastwood Police Station. From Quezon City Police District, the award will be received by Police Lieutenant Colonel Romulus R. Gadao. For the unit with the highest value of drugs seized, for district level, it is presented to the Northern Police District. The award will be received by Police Brigadier General Roland B. Anuya. For the city police station and municipal police station level, it is presented to the Kalaokan City Police Station, Northern Police District. The award will be received by Police Colonel Noel R. Flores. For numbered station level, it is presented to Basic Police Station, Police Station 11, Manila Police District, the award will be received by Police Lieutenant Colonel Noel C. Alinio. <laughs> Unit with the most number of arrested persons in anti-illegal drug operations for district level, it is presented to the Manila Police District, the award will be received by Police Brigadier General Vicente D. Danao Jr.
for city police station and municipal police station level, it is presented to the Kaloocan Police Station from Northern Police District. The award will be received by Police Colonel Noel R. Flores. For number station level, it is awarded to the Santa Cruz Police Station from Manila Police District. The award will be received by Police Lieutenant Colonel Julius Cesar M. Domingo. For the unit with most number of surrenders, it is presented to the Quezon City Police District. The award will be received by Police Brigadier General Jose Miguel T. Esquivel, Jr. For the unit with the most number of arrested violators of city ordinance is also presented to Quezon City Police District. The, same, the award will, only, will be received by Police Brigadier General Marcelino T. Esquivel Jr. Uh -huh. For best police community precinct is presented to Police Community Precinct 2 Police Station 5, Fairview, Quezon City Police District. The award will be received by Police Lieutenant Rosendo Maxipo. It is presented to Police Staff Sergeant Ramon Marcelino, Barangay Parada, Valenzuela City. A special recognition is also presented to the Regional Mobile Force Battalion for being nominated as the best RFMP national level. The recognition is to be received by Police Colonel Joel R. Consulta, the Force Commander. In recognition to the Regional Support Units, an award of recognition is given to Regional Finance Service Office 16 to be received by Police Major Jonathan S. Alayan, OIC, RFS, OIC. is also given to the Regional Communication and Electronics to be received by Police Lieutenant Colonel Hilario Claro S. Sevilla. And finally, the same award is also given to the Regional Legal Office to be received by Police Lieutenant Colonel Tomas M. Valmonte, Chief Regional Legal Office. Moving on, in recognition to the support and efforts given to the National Capital Regional Police Office, a plaque of recognition is given to the Special Action Force to be received by Police Brigadier General Manuel F. Abu, Deputy Director, Special Action Force. The same plaque of recognition is also given to the Joint Task Force, NCR, to be received by Brigadier General Alex D.C. Luna, Joint Task Force, NCR Commander. of recognition is also given to J2 Armed Forces of the Philippines to be received by Colonel Joey A. Escanillas, Deputy Commander, Army Intelligence Regiment, Armed Forces of the Philippines.
The same plaque of recognition is also given to Bureau of Jail Management and Penology to be received by Jail Senior Superintendent Milet G. Bata, Assistant Regional Director for Administration, Bureau of Jail Management and Penology. The same plaque of recognition is also given to the National Intelligence Coordinating Agency to be received by Mr. Rufino C. Mendoza, Regional Director, National Intelligence Coordinating Agency, NCR. The same plaque of recognition is also given to the Bureau of Immigration to be received by Ms. Remy Carr Kagiron and Ms. Sahara A. Pahoya. The same plaque of recognition is also given to the Philippine Amusement and Gaming Corporation to be received by Ms. Andrea D. Domingo, Chairman and CEO, Philippine Amusement and Gaming Corporation, and Ms. Trino B. Valdez, Assistant Vice President for Corporate Communication, Philippine Amusement and Gaming Corporation. recognition is also given to Resource World Manila to be received by General Jet Villaporte, Chief Security Officer, Resource World Manila. The same plaque of recognition is also given to SF Foundation to be received by Mr. Ramon Neil S. Macapagan, Member, Board of Trustees, SM Foundation, and Attorney Danilo Cruz, Corporate Affairs Consultant, SM Foundation. The same plaque of recognition is also given to the Naval Intelligence and Security Force, National Capital Region, to be received by Captain Glenn Z. Dizon, Deputy Commander, Naval Intelligence and Security Force. Finally, the same plaque of recognition is also given to NCRPO Officers Ladies Club to be received by Mrs. Leticia Cruz, the President, Officers Ladies Club, NCRPO, and to be assisted by Mrs. Rosalie Eleazar, President, PNP Officers Ladies Club. to acknowledge the presence of our guest on this uh, morning's occasion. I will no longer mention your name one by one, but I would like to extend our deepest gratitude for joining and uh, celebrating us with us in our police service anniversary of NCRPO. Before I introduce our guest of honor speaker, we would like to present to you and show you the accomplishment of NCRPO for the last year through our audio visual presentation. We take great pride in introducing our special guest today. That is why it is a huge honor for me to do this task. 
While he was my predecessor here at NCRPO, his heart never left our camp, even if his new office called him on. For he gave me and NCRPO special attention, even as he was attending laboriously to all other police regional offices nationwide. To say he is my mentor is inadequate. He is the guiding light of the whole NCRPO. To say he is our chief PNP falls short, for he is our inspiration and motivation, a leader who deserves the best effort from us at all times. To say he is well respected is nothing compared to the love and care he extends to 190,000 men and women under his watch in our institution. Friends, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, our special guest, our Chief of the Philippine National Police, Police General Oscar David Albayade. Please uh, sit down. Thank you, Gilor, for that uh, very kind introduction. Patingin ko lang po muli yung ating mga bisita ngayon. And of course, to the men and women of the of, uh, National Capital Region, headed by the uh, very able and snappy Regional Director of NCRP, Major General Guillermo Elisar, and of course, uh, his wife, Lali, and the members of the uh, PNP Ladies Club, the chapter. Of course, to the members of the Command Group of the National Capital Region Police Office, members of the House of Representatives, and other elected officials. Hindi ko na po kayo isa-isayin dahil napanggit na kanina. And of course, the, uh, the different district directors of the National Capital Region Police Office, our AFP counterparts, we have here also the, direct, the uh, commander of uh, NCR Joint Task Force of NCR, the former regional directors of NCRPO, Generals Velasco and Batawin, sir. Nandito po yata si Major General uh, Montaño, sir. Yes, sir. Hindi po kayo nakita dito. Also the uh, former uh, Chief PC and also the former NCRPO Commander, General Montaño, sir. And to the Pag Board Chairman, Ma'am Andrea Domingo. The uh, officials and representatives of uh, other government agencies, local chief executives, and other elected officials, and of course, to all the awardees, other senior officers, the men and women of NCRPO, friends from the media, ladies and gentlemen, other distinguished guests, uli sa inyo po lahat, magandang magandang umaga. Muli na naman nating ipinagdiriwang ang isa sa pinakamahalagang okasyon sa ating kasaysayan. Ang pagkatatag ng serbisyong kapulisan, isang daan at labing walong taon na ang nakakalipas. This is another opportunity for us to look back and pay tribute to our forebears, the men and women of the Insular Constabulary, Philippine Constabulary, and Integrated National Police who fought, sacrificed, and died for our beloved nation. I hope that their gallant service and deep love of country will continue to inspire and encourage all of us in the police service to serve and protect the community with deeper commitment to the ideals of service, honor, and justice. Bago ko magpatuloy, please, Commander, please give tigas pa nga. Tigas! Ho! And again, 
I want to thank the National Capital Region Police Office under the very hardworking Regional Director, Police Major General Guillermo Lorenzo Elizar, for this opportunity to address the NCRPO family as we all celebrate the 118th Police Service Anniversary. I am honored to celebrate this day with you and I must say that this is always a good feeling to be back home in NCRPO. I am glad to see that this police office has been scaling new heights of performance and achievement in the pursuance of its mission these past few years. And I am happy and proud to congratulate the NCRPO for being a judge as the best regional police office during the 118th Police Service Anniversary Celebration at the PNP National Headquarters last June 9th. Let me also congratulate your individual and other unit awardees this year for a gallant service and outstanding performance of duties. I hope that the, re that the recognition of your remarkable service will further inspire you to achieve more for the PNP and most especially for the community that you deserve or that you serve. Now why manatili kayong masipag, mahusay, at marangal maglingkod sa mamamayan at patuloy na maging ehemplo sa ating mga kapwa police at lingkod bayan. I also congratulate the awardees for the community and the different sectors and extend to you the PNP's deep gratitude for all the support and cooperation you have been giving to the Philippine National Police, especially to the NCRPO. I know that this police office draws inspiration and, ins and encouragement from the trust and confidence of the community. And we hope to sustain and nurture this police community partnership as the NCRPO and the entire PNP moves forward in service to the nation. Malinaw ang direksyon na tinatahak ng pambansang pulisya ngayon at ito ang nakasaad sa tema ng ating pagdiriwang, pinaghusay na serbisyo alay sa sambayanang Pilipino. Ito rin ang alay natin sa ating mga ninuno at mga bayaning pulis na naglingkod, nagsakripisyo at nagbuwis ng buhay para sa bayan. Nitong mga nakaraang taon, naging masigasig ang ating pagsulong ng kapayapaan at kaayosan sa ating bansa. And I'm very pleased that the NCRPO has been leaving no stones unturned in its continuing quest for peace and security in the streets and communities in Metro Manila. Nakita ng taong bayan kung gaano kasipag ang NCRPO at kitang-kita natin ang resulta ng inyong pagsisikap sa patuloy na pagbaba ng krimen sa Metro Manila at pati na rin sa paghuli at pagbibigay ng kaukulang parusa sa mga tiwaling pulis. For the first three years of President Duterte's administration, we struggled, we fought, and we worked hard to heed his marching orders to eradicate crime, illegal drugs, and corruption across the nation. At the same time, we waged our own war against rob cops and scalawags who continue to tarnish the image of the PNP. Having once been the regional director of this police office, I know the challenges that come with ensuring peace and order in Metro Manila. This is where the seat of government is located. There are countless business establishments, government offices, schools, churches, transport terminals, and other areas of convergence. And with a population of about 13 million, the NCRPO indeed has tremendous responsibilities on its shoulders. Your firm and relentless conduct of patrols, checkpoints, and police operations, especially against riding in tandem criminals, drug personalities, and other lawless elements have been well received by our countrymen. As you have reported, major crimes including murder and rape have decreased significantly. Crimes perpetrated by motorcycle riding suspects have also gone down. 
we saw your district offices enforce the full force of the law against illegal drug trade in the metropolis. And we now see safer communities and even cleaner streets in Metro Manila. Ito ang bunga ng inyong masipag at magiting na paglilingkod. Ito ang ambag ninyo sa mga tagumpay ng buong kapulisan sa pagsulong ng ating misyon bilang bantay ng katahimikan. Maraming maraming salamat sa inyo. No less than President Rodrigo Roa Duterte in his speech last August 7 commended the PNP for the good work as he said in my quote, your strong campaign and operations against criminality, illegal drugs, illegal gambling, and other forms of terrorism, as well as the efforts of internal cleansing in the PNP are truly commendable, unquote. But as your chief PNP, I must say that our work as servants and protectors of the community never stops. We cannot rest on our lawless. We can only endeavor to work even harder in order to achieve more for the community. And we must never stop aiming for excellence in everything that we do. Last month, I directed the intensification of the campaign against street crimes in all regions in response to the President's instructions. And let me reiterate that I want you to sustain or even surpass the gains of the past few years and keep the crime volume on a declining trend. Let me remind you also that among our operational trust is the active presence and aggressive deployment of our policemen as an urgent intervention to prevent the occurrence of common street crimes. And I urge you to further enhance your ties with local government units and the community because they are our strongest allies against criminal elements. Above all, put more effort and energy in your internal cleansing activities to finally rid the NCRPO ranks of undesirables. Huwag ninyong pabayaang sayangin ng mga tiwaling pulis ang mga magagandang simulay ninyo. There are some police personnel who still refuse to toe the line but we will not allow them to do more damage to the organization. We now have a revitalized internal cleansing program, which I hope will be implemented strongly and firmly by all police units. And I look forward to seeing rogue cops who are found to be irredeemable, either behind bars or out of the service. In the remaining months of my term, I hope to see the NCRPO rise to even greater heights of success in the pursuance of its mandate. I want the NCRPO to remain the model of excellent and honorable service. And I know that you can achieve this if you continue to be united, to work hard and serve the community along the ideals of service, honor, and justice, and with the Lord at the center of all your endeavors. Patuloy nating ihandog sa sambayanan ang mahusay at magiting na serbisyo. To the men and women of the National Capital Region Police Office, I thank you for your strong support to my leadership and I assure you of the PNP leadership's continuing guidance and care as you serve and protect Metro Manila. Congratulations and happy anniversary to us all. Mabuhay ang LCRP. Thank you very much, sir. At this point, we would like to request from Regional, Regional Director of Police Major General Guillermo Lorenzo T. Elizor to present a personalized wooden plaque of appreciation and a special memento to our guest of honor and speaker, Police of the Philippine National Police. Oh, you will appreciate for his invaluable support to the NCRPO as guest of honor and speaker during the 118th Police Service Anniversary Celebration. The NCRPO also presents this special event to our guest of honor and speaker. The Kwan Ku, the Chinese God of War. 
Guang Ku is originally known as Guan Di and one of China's most prominent and successful war hero. After many achievements, he was the titled God of War and has become renowned as the great protector. He is the bestower of equality, defending the guiltless, and revered by the righteous. Similarly, our guest of honor and speaker, Police General Oscar D. Alvayalde, is also the great protector as he leads the PNP's intensified fight against criminality and illegal drugs in the country, thus steadfastly protecting the citizenry. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, a round of applause for our guest of honor and speaker for making this celebration meaningful. Office. We will request the awardees to proceed in front. Ladies and gentlemen, the Brigade Commander Staff, headed by the Brigade Commander, Police Colonel Rex Urbin Manimban of MPD, Brigade S1, Police Lieutenant Colonel Burgos of EPD, Brigade S2, Police Lieutenant Colonel Tapala of QCPD, Brigade S3, Police Lieutenant Colonel Mangaldan of EPD, Brigade S4, Police Lieutenant Colonel Calapaglia of SPD, Brigade S5, Police Lieutenant Colonel Riyadi of NPD. The NCRPO men under the baton of Police Senior Master Sergeant Dr. Tapahana. First Battalion Commander, Police Lieutenant Colonel Lucio L. Simangan of NPD, S1, Police Major Laiko of SPD, S2, Police Major Vitor of RMF2B, S3, Police Major Moratalia of SPD, and S4, Police Major Bertasio of RMF2B. First Company Commander, Police Captain Patamara of RMF2B, EXO, Police Lieutenant Ketsaida of RMFB. First Platoon Leader, Police Lieutenant Figueroa of RFMB. Second Platoon Leader, Police Lieutenant Alving of RFMB. Second Company Commander, Police Captain Ventabal of RLRDD. EXO, Police Lieutenant Akmetan of RFMB. Third Platoon Leader, Police Lieutenant Bukad of RFMB. Fourth Platoon Leader, Police Lieutenant Saturnino of MPD. Rise for the Palmers. Major 
Major Maritana, QCPG, Escort, Police Major for the Cardas, SPG. First Company Commander, Police Captain Valdez, EXO, Police Lieutenant Tizo. First Platoon Leader, Police Lieutenant Bawa. Second Platoon Leader, Police Lieutenant Placer. Company Commander, Police Captain Soriano, EXO, Police Lieutenant Piano. Third Platoon Leader, Police Lieutenant Alipio. Fourth Platoon Leader, Police Lieutenant Sazo. Ladies and gentlemen, the Regional Public Safety Battalion and the District Operational and Practical Capabilities. The Civil Disturbance Management. The Champion for the recently held CDM Competition 2019. The K-19, which is composed of special trained handlers of pure breed Belgian Malinois, Labrador Retrievers and German Shepherd across the Belgian Malinois, capable of detecting different types of explosives in different kinds of environments. Next is Explosive Ordnance Division Team, the PMP's preeminent tactical and technical explosive experts. They are warriors who are well trained, equipped and integrated to attack, defeat and exploit an exploded ordnance and improvise explosive devices. It is composed of personnel with high degree of qualification and commitment to conduct rescue and relief operations during disaster. They aim to deliver fast and dynamic service to the distress during natural calamities and other related incidents. Thank you. 
The NCRPO medical team. Their ambulances are manned by trained police paramedics ready for rapid emergency response. Operation Unit, composed of trained personnel of the BNP Crime Laboratory, they provide forensic expertise, establish facts relative to a criminal incident. Next is the Montero Sport Model 2018, donated by the government of Japan, to intensify the police operations of the five police districts of the National Capital Region Police Office. Next is the Star X Van donated by the government of South Korea to support the anti-criminality campaign of the five police districts of NCRPO.